How you doing everybody? I'm here today to show you how simple it is to lay the Allure Traffic Master vinyl flooring. I got it at Home Depot. It's super cheap, about $1.98 a square foot. I'm not a flooring person, but I'm doing a basement reno right now and I just thought I had to make a video. And this is my first video, by the way. Maybe I'll make more in the future. Um, but I'm just a handy guy that's doing his own reno. Okay, so uh, this flooring, like I said, it's cheap, about $1.98 a square foot at Home Depot. It's beautiful. It lays easy. It looks amazing. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I'm going to show you the tools that I'm using, which is just a carpenter's square, uh, a utility knife, and a pencil. Really, that's it. So, well, you'll need a tape measure to do all your measurements to see how the flooring is going to fit. But I'm just showing you how to lay the flooring for now. All right, so I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you the best that I can with one hand how easy this really is. And I hope this makes your next project simple as well. All right, give me a sec here, guys. So here we are. Here's the Allure Traffic Master. I believe the one I'm using is called Ironwood. This stuff looks great, guys. You see this here? Sorry for the blurriness. And there's the tools that I'm using. That's it. Simple. So you don't need to spend a ton of money on this stuff. You don't need to buy saws or use saws. Just use a utility knife and a square. All right. And if you need, a little helper. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how simple this really is. So I'm starting here with one of my cuts from the opposite end, and I'll show you guys exactly what I did when I get to the other side. But this is just to speed things up a bit. All right, so you got your cut piece, and you got your piece that you want to attach it to here. You're just going to line it up on a 45 degree angle. I don't know how well you're going to see this, but this is at a 45 degree angle. Okay, you're going to snug it up against the seam and you're going to press it down. And then you're going to want to go over it. Another thing they suggest you have is a roller to put some pressure on it, but I've been going around using my foot, putting some pressure on it. And it seems to be working well for me. I might go out and rent a roller later on down, uh, when I'm done all the flooring. I'm doing my entire basement, so I still got quite a bit to do. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's the first piece. And you grab your second piece. And same thing, you're going to want to go on a 45 angle and snug it right up against that seam there. And you're going to want to just roll it. It's hard to see, but roll it against the seam. You don't want to just place it, you're going to roll it like that. And that's it. So again, there you go. That's how simple this stuff is. Now I'm just going to press a little pressure there, but there you go. I don't know why my camera's doing this. There we go. So there it is. That's two pieces. So simple. Go ahead. This package is with uh, just a protective paper over top. You just rip that off. No biggie. And again, the next piece, go like that on a 45, right up, butt that up right up against there, on a 45, and just roll it in. Just roll it in. And it's so simple, the seam, virtually disappears and it looks incredible. Okay, so now I'm at the other end of the run and I'm going to show you how simple it is to cut this. Now what I've done, and you'll see that I grabbed the full plank and I've matched, let's get this to not be blurry, I've matched the blue end to the blue end there, or I should say side, blue side to blue side. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to push it up against the end and then just pull it back about a quarter of an inch or so just to leave a little bit of space. And I know this stuff doesn't move like other flooring does, so you don't really have to accommodate from what I hear as much as, uh, as say, uh, laminate. But I do it anyways because the baseboard is going to cover that extra little gap on the other side, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so let me show you if I can get my camera to stay in focus how simple this is to cut. And this is the trick that I use 
Um, oh, one more thing, everyone, just uh, a quick little, uh, sorry. One more thing I forgot to tell you to use here is knee pads. You're going to need knee pads. You're on your knees for a while here. Save your knees. It's not worth killing yourself over. Uh, get yourself a pair of knee pads. I think I got them at home hardware for about, uh, I think they were like six bucks or something like that. So just get some knee pads, foam knee pads. All right, guys, so here we go. So I grabbed my Carpenter's Square and all I do is I line it up like so. So I'm gonna line it up to the wood edge here and I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna score this. And you don't have to score it hard. You'll see how light I'm doing it. But you see how my square is lined up now, even with this wood, okay? That's how I've been doing it. So you're gonna wanna put some pressure on the square and some pressure on the board, okay? And then you're gonna take your knife, see if I can do this with let me get it set up and then try and show you guys how to do this. Sorry, it's a little difficult with one hand, but if I can do it with one hand, you can all do it with two. You'd be 100% sure of that. So I got it there, okay. Got a little pressure on the board. And now I'm just gonna score it right from edge to edge. And it's not hard. You saw how light I did that. Oh, I don't know if you could see it. I'll show you again. Okay, so that's pretty light. So now, all you do is you take that piece of the board. Okay. And you just snap it back. And I'll try and do this. Some pressure. Just like that, snapped right off, okay? Didn't look pretty because I'm doing it with one hand, but just to show you that this is actually very, very simple stuff to use. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the end you need, you're gonna line it up, butt it up again there, try to get it the best you can on a 45. You know it's a little bit more difficult once you get towards the end. And just, again with the pressure, okay? And all the seams. And then you take the other end of that cut, and where we started, you go back to the beginning. And you're gonna lay that there. All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment if you didn't, comment if you did. Let me know what you think. Again, this flooring is pretty great. Go to Home Depot, pick it up. Allure Traffic Master Flooring. This one is the Ironwood, and it's great. Also, you're gonna notice that I have a poly underneath. This is just a six mil poly. You don't need to have that. I'm in my basement, and uh, there's a potential of it having a bit of moisture down here, so I wanted to just be safe as a precaution to use this poly. You don't need to, though. Okay, guys, so again, thank you very much for watching my video, and if you like it, just hit the thumbs up button and I hope I helped you guys out with your next project. All right, take care.